Shop skills refers to the information that has to be learned by working in or around a shop. In a university setting, I would compare it to generals, the courses you take at the beginning of your educational process. The diverse and foundational information and skills that every competent and well-rounded man, or woman for that matter, should have. This is different than being a skilled craftsman. This is about being a capable and reliable problem solver. As you start to learn shop skills and function in and around a shop, you notice something early on, and that is that once you get the hang of certain tools, you can much more easily learn how to use similar or related tools and processes. For instance, if you learn to use an oxyacetylene torch for welding and for cutting, right away you can learn to use an arc welder or a plasma cutter. MIG welding and TIG welding is at your fingertips. Hard facing, brazing, soldering, all these things become not intimidating at all, or at least not much. Maybe you learn to use a skill saw or a jigsaw. Well, right away you're more comfortable trying to use a table saw or a band saw or maybe a chainsaw. And then this morphs and includes how to sharpen those tools. And pretty soon you can sharpen anything you need to sharpen because it's related to what you learned earlier about one particular saw. Or mechanical advantage. Think about ropes and rigging and leverage. You learn a little bit about these things and pretty soon you can move heavy items and even towing and backing up a trailer becomes more approachable because you learned how to do related things earlier. The same is true with all the fundamental materials around a shop. Whether it's wood or steel or concrete or fasteners or chemicals, you know, the components to electronics and all these things, when you begin to get familiar with them, and you have to be familiar with them to know how they can assist you in future problems and situations, before long, you can anticipate how to incorporate them in design solutions in just pure creative or artistic endeavors as well. Shop skills are the reason a lot of grandpas and dads seem to know how to fix any problem. Now, they didn't always know how to fix any problem. But early on in their lives, they began to be able to fix a lot of problems, and they've been improving their shop skills over their whole lifetime. And so the shop skills that they have makes them or you a more prepared, well-rounded, and useful person. And the way you gain shop skills is by diving in and doing new things. You know you can learn a lot in a short period of time by starting on small projects. We had a podcast discussion about learning curves and we talked about this quite a bit. It dawned on me it was because he had been obsessed with learning new things all of his life. He has a list of hobbies and avocations that you wouldn't believe me if I ran through them. This barrel and the shaker screen that we're using in this process has been laying around outside my shop for years. I had long intended to do something, not sure what, and now we're repurposing it, developing shop skills and exercising a little creativity and design in a very low impact and low pressure situation. Maybe you could scale this to fit your circumstance. Because it really does not have to cost much to do something that could teach a lot. Think how much you could learn about small engines by tearing apart and rebuilding a lawnmower engine. Think how much you could learn about leather work by getting a hold of the basic materials and making a wallet or a knife sheath. Think about how much you could learn about ropes and rigging if you just picked up 20 feet of rope and a book on knots. Think how much you could learn about welding and fabricating by finding some old steel and welding it into a fire pot.
it will open up worlds of possibility for all of us if we can stop thinking that we must be expert at something before we try it. And, by the way, for those of us who are older and are feeling a little smug right now that we've pretty well got these shop skills in our toolkit, we should probably include basic computer skills right in there with every other shop skill and knuckle down and learn something new. So if you're going to be a useful human who solves problems, takes care of your loved ones, is an asset to any community, keep developing your shop skills. And remember this, if you don't know how to do something, just start doing it anyway. And by the time you're done, you're going to be pretty good at it. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman. And keep up the good work.